In this video, I'm gonna show you how to power this all night long if you're gonna do astrophotography with the Nikon camera. Now, one of the problems I've seen while using the internal battery is they just cannot go all night long. So I've tried to shut off the screen on the back to use less power, you know, the preview mode and things like that, but still, I'm having trouble shooting all night long and it's really limiting my astrophotography hours. So today I'm gonna to show you how to fix that problem and I've just absolutely loved this. I just got back from a remote site and I shot until four in the morning or a little bit later and it worked perfectly. Now the solution is basically to use what's called a dummy battery. And so the dummy battery is an exact replacement in physical size for the existing battery. Now, I will put a product link in the description below and I will show you all of the Nikon cameras that this works for. But anyway, you can just pop this in there and it's an exact replacement. And then on the bottom of this, they have a groove here. You can put the cord this way or this way and that depends on which camera you're using because they're all a little bit different. For mine, it works out this way. Now looking at the bottom here, the first time I saw this, I, I didn't even see that I had a little slot. There's a little flap right there and that gives you a place to put your cord. So you just pop that in there and then just work it through and then you can just close the door, just like that. It's nice and out of the way, your battery's not gonna fall out or anything, it works great. Now this particular uh, dummy battery comes with a nine volt power supply and it has a short nine volt female connector here, probably about two feet long. This is around two or three feet long, and then this big cord's about five feet. And so that's a lot of cord. But now you're saying, well, wait a minute, you just got back from a remote site. They didn't have any power outlets there, did they? Well, no, they did not. So I'm gonna show you how to do this from one of these batteries. So let's take this and we'll set it aside for right now. Now I've already reviewed this product. This is my Talent Cell Lithium Iron Phosphate. This is 83 watt hours. It has a 12 volt, a nine volt, and a USB port. And originally this is what I was using as, as the power supply for the telescope, but I've since added more equipment. And now this one here is going to power my Nikon camera. So I have a nine volt power outlet here. And I, I looked everywhere and I could not find a nine volt male to male extension cord. And so I solved it by doing this right here. So this is a 12 volt uh, extension cord. And then what I've done is I got a little tape on here because I don't want to lose these. I got a couple of these little adapters and I'll put a link for these in the description as well. I bought like a 10 pack for like six bucks. And that takes a male 12 volt, just slide it in there and converts it into a male nine volt. And then I put a piece of tape on because when I go traveling for a remote site, I wanna make sure that I have my connections because this is, I mean, this is a big deal to travel. So anyway, you can just uh, put it into the nine volt slot. And then now we do this. So our camera is off, turn the power on, light comes on, full battery. And so it worked absolutely perfectly. And I went ahead and went to bed and let it shoot all night long. And I woke up this morning and the next morning and it was a full battery. And well, you know, it says it's a full battery because look at what you're replacing it with. I mean, you don't have to use one as big as I have, but um, if you have, you know, any power cell that has a nine volt port on it, that'll work because it's all gonna be bigger than the, uh, the 1900 milliamp hour battery that came with it, I mean, that's, that's about yay big, it's pretty small. So anyway, this completely set me free for remote traveling. And um, I have used it out in the driveway, I've used it all over the place, and I just love it. It's completely set me free and give me a lot of options for when I want to do a big APC color image. Now, one other thing. Here's the original battery from my Nikon, and if you look at it, it's a seven volt, 14 watt hour battery, 1900 milliamp hours. And like I said, this is nine volt. And so if you're wondering if that's an issue, it simply is not. That extra two volts is no problem at all. It's just going to show 
full all the time on the display and it works perfectly. So I just wanted to mention that in case people were looking at this saying, wait a minute, that doesn't match. Yeah, no problem, works great. So I'll put everything, I'll put a link for everything in the description. I'll put in the, the extension cord that I have, the connectors that are there that convert the 12 volt to the nine volt. And of course, for the uh, dummy battery and power supply. And another thing, I just forgot to mention the price. This was only $29. And that is really, really inexpensive and considering what you can do with it. And of course, if you have access to 120 volt, like at your house or something, well then you can just plug it in. You don't need to do this route. But for traveling, I don't, I don't have a 120 volt connection when I'm out in the field. So I need to rely on batteries. So anyway, I hope you found that helpful. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so.